Hey guys, welcome to the Massive Iron Channel. I'm Steve Shaw. In this video, I'm going to talk about getting more out of your dips. Before I get into that topic, if you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. The best topic ideas that turn into videos just like this. All right, real short video today. The dip or the chest dip or whatever you want to call it is often been labeled, has often been labeled as the upper body squat. It's been given a lot of hype over the years, but it is a lift that gets a lot of, uh, it doesn't get the best focus. You don't have a lot of good tutorials on it. You don't see a lot of good execution. There's a lot of common questions that I receive on the dip. So I'm going to show you a short clip of mine. I'm going to note, obviously, that I'm using the bench press slingshot here. I always tended to use the slingshot on dips for support. It allowed me to get a little bit more reps in, especially when I was a heavier chunk like I am here. But that aside, I want you to look at the form and how they are perform. So I'm going to run through this a little bit, and then we're going to backtrack just slightly. Okay, so I start upright. One of the key things you want to look at here is you kind of want to have your chest in front of your hips. You want to lean forward a little bit so you get a little bit more chest focus. Now see how I lean forward? That's my starting position. You can see I my shoulders are a lot more forward than when I started. Let's backtrack a little bit. Start pretty upright. You want to get in, a, you want to stabilize because one of the common issues you see with the dip is that people will rock or they're not stabilized or it's really an uncontrolled movement. So you want to really stabilize first. I stabilize in the upright position. Then I start to lean forward, put myself in a good dip position. To do so, my elbows bend a little bit. And I want you to watch the control. You really want to control yourself on the way down so you can keep that forward lean and a little bit more chest focus. One of the issues people see, one of the issues people have when they're performing dips is that they drop so rapidly that it can naturally tend to create a little bit of swing or loss of control. And then their dips and their knees and everything is swinging and it's all out of control. All, all over the place. So watch how I perform my dips. Nice and controlled down. Nice and controlled down. When I get to when I get my shoulder to about equal with my elbow, you can go lower than that. But this is what just what feels comfortable. You want to get the shoulder at least equal with the elbow right there. And then I press up. I explode up. And when I explode up, I'm exploding up by pushing the triceps up and the chest. I'm really focusing on pushing the chest initially, and then at the end, I'm focusing on kind of driving my, my elbows together to speed up the lockdown, to speed up the lockout. So let's watch this again from the start in real time. Okay, I start upright, get nice control, lean in, control down, boom, control down, boom, control down, boom. Now, again, when I'm coming up, I focus on the chest, pushing with the chest a little bit, and to lock out, I focus on pushing my triceps together at the end. Nice and controlled, minimal torso sway. That's what you want on the chest dip. So guys, hope this video has been of some help. If you have any questions or comments, drop them down below. If you made it this far in this video and have yet to subscribe to my channel, please do. I'd appreciate the support. So guys, as always, thanks for watching. Have a great day.